have it's sending data. I think we're live. NXT. Hi guys. Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, to Friday noon time. Friday. Happy Fridays. Friday. The computer's <laughs> moving. They don't see you yet. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what we're trying to. Uh oh. Are you? Uh, Hold on. Let me mute you over here. Oh my goodness, Jax. Jax is being a little toddler right now. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? I want to say good morning, but good morning to everybody that's not on the East Coast. <laughs> right? Hi, right, guys. Right, Jamie? Do you not love the hat? When we started Zoom, I'm like, ooh, I love it. <laughs> I figured I figured it was a good day for it. I don't know why, but it just it seemed right. It felt right. And then I told him it's actually Steampunk Weekend at the Bristol Renaissance Fair, so it's perfect. I've never been to a Renaissance Fair. I want to go. Me too. Um, so, Agreed. we're going to show you guys the new image sets in Cricut Design Space. And as, as always, we don't ever look at the new image sets. I honestly don't even know if there are new ones this week, so we'll see. We like the element of surprise. Yes. So I'm gonna... And it's morning here. Where are you at, Rochelle? But hi, everybody that's in here. We got Carol, Debbie, Sue, Jamie, Deanna, Rochelle. Rhonda, PJ, hi guys. So I'm gonna go My ahead. Cat and... is like being a toddler right now, so if the computer moves. Can you <laughs> can you send me the host? Oh yep. Yeah. Thank you. He just says, Jax, you gotta go, man. And it's got little gears on this side. When I bought the hat, they came with the gears. I they did not come with the goggles. I added the goggles. You know, I got the computer sitting on a box. Otherwise, the angle is like, I don't want that angle because it's just shooting up on my chin. Jack's like went in the box. So he's like inside the box, like hooking through, <laughs> moving the computer. So if the computer falls, it's because of Jaxie. Modesto, California. Awesome. So yeah, it is. It is morning there for sure. Only 9 a.m. there. Hey, Mindy, you're back from Florida too. It was nice here yesterday. It's been nine, like high 90s everywhere, it seems. It was 75 here yesterday for a high. I was very happy. Oh, and wow. I had pumpkin. I had Ducky brought me a pumpkin spice. Well, it was iced coffee. I got iced coffee. But pumpkin spice, so it tasted like fall. It was starting to feel like fall. I'm ready for fall. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Melissa, what's the weather? That's right, Joanne. Another glorious <laughs> day. Yesterday, unless it's not. The current weather is Whenever I say that, I think of Hocus Pocus. With mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect some sun in Sunday. Good morning, Mary Pat, Montana. And a low of 74 degrees. That's right, Rhonda. It is going to be a great day. It's only a high at 90 today, so that's not bad. Hey, that's like a cool off. Yeah. For, up there. For Florida's. Jamie's like, I would be so happy for 75. I know. We were going to go to the fair yesterday, too. And then we got busy because Ducky got her license. We had to take care of stuff. So the goal is to go here soon to the fair, because oh. basically to get food, and I just want to say talk to the animals. I will talk to the animals, <laughs> but I want to see the animals. And the little petting zoo. I want to feed the animals. <laughs> so it's 87 right now, but the feels like is 102. Ooh, it's super humid. <laughs> it's only 46%. <laughs> it's it silly. It doesn't correlate. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's Florida for you. <laughs> Um, all right, so to when you open up Cricut Design Space, this is the page that you get. This is the home page, and you want to go click on the hamburger menu up in the top left, and you hit Canvas, and then you bring. I always hit this. I like the grid. I like to have the grid. You Do go, you? That's a thing. Like how many? I'm interested. How many people leave the grid up? How many people take the grid down? Well, like it's it's for me, it's a centering thing. So, like, if I'm lining something up over here and over here, I'll line it up on this dot if they're on right. this line. So you know where to, right. Yeah. And then you go down to images. And then you 
It I like makes it, Annie. sense. And he says, it's 6 p.m. in Germany, saw the notification pop up on the video and decided that was my time to stop working. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So it's Friday. Is it Friday there or is it Saturday there? It's Friday, it's, 6 p.m. Your weekend began. It, it's Friday, 6 p.m. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a six hour difference. Yep, everybody leaves the grid on. I, I like a now, screenshot so much when I'm working on something for something. Sometimes I put it in Canvas so I have the grid off so I can screenshot it without the the lines in there. Um now do you like the the big grid or the little dots? Good question. Do you guys like the big grid? Or the little box. Um, These are so hard to see on here because, you know, they're like the right. little, little portion of my screen here. Yeah. It's Friday. Well, then your weekend began, Eddie. I bet everybody here wishes they could, that's got to work, could fast forward to 6 <laughs> today. So the first one we have is 30th birthday sentiments. Missed me by a year. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> me too. You too, Alex. <laughs> That makes me feel old that <laughs> you can remember being 30. <laughs> I remember your 20th birthday party. I had a birthday party at 20? Yeah. I feel like I've had one birthday party in my life. I think it was fourth grade. <laughs> oh. They like the small squares. Ripped my 20s. This is what 30 and fabulous looks like. Cheers to 30 years. Oh. If life begins at 30, I'm only a year old. Sue said, not sure I remember that year. I remember when I lost a whole year. I really, it was 31 to 32. What was it? Because I had a dream, and in my dream, it was a realist dream, and in it, I died when I was 31. Right? In a car accident, I read my obituary. It was crazy. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to be so nervous that year of my life. Well, I missed that whole year because I thought I was turning whatever. And it was, yeah, I was like, oh my God, I made it through. I'm turning 32, not 31. <laughs> 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 my mom said once she got into her 30s too, there's several years she couldn't remember. I like literally have to do math sometime to see how old I am. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> What these are winter snow flurries. Oh, that's fun. So these would be good that. for I'm like a a border. Yeah. I do like these. Those are fun winter borders. <laughs> Deanna says, I don't remember my 30th. It was too long ago. <sighs> Same. I know I was really happy to be 30, though. I know I was like, some people are like, oh, I'm turning 30. I was like, yay, I'm over the 20s. Yeah. Like, you know? Glad to be out of those. Yeah. It's a lot of life lessons in your 20s. And I just want to check, can everybody hear everybody okay? Can you, can, can everybody hear, every, can everybody hear us okay? Not other people. <laughs> I don't know, Shirley. Well, hopefully after the video, some people join you in the Zoom. Shirley said she almost forgot she was in the Zoom all along. Oh, yeah. Those would make nice cards, wouldn't they, Shirley? For the winter borders. And what's this one called? It's winter snow flurries. Ah, oh, okay. Christmas <laughs> Christmas peppermint animal doodles. <laughs> I okay. am intrigued on whatever this is. <laughs> Me too. That's a snake. Okay. A lizard or like a little lizard Wait. thing. Oh yeah. Ooh. Is that a cow? Oh, it's an ox. A cow with stripes? It's an ox. Oh, I like the zebra, though. Yeah, it reminds me is of zebra gum. Lemur? Is that a lemur? I think so. Look at his little, his little sockies. <laughs> is that a the hyena? It is a hyena. It's a very festive zebra. The angelfish. The fish. Peppermint tiger. A chameleon. Peppermint tiger, because that a makes sense. Cat. <laughs> A peppermint cat. The hyena is cracking me up. <laughs> like, hyena. We need a peppermint hyena. All right. That, it does, Mindy. 
Uh, Mindy said the zebra looks like the chewing gum mascot. The That's what I said. I was like, it's zebra oh, gum. Yeah, <laughs> the fruit strings chewing gum. I used to love that as a kid. I haven't had it in forever. The gum that lasts about before. four seconds. You can buy it at Cracker Barrel. They have a Christmas unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a snail? No. Is that's... that a lizard? Is that a chameleon? It's a chameleon. Yeah. Okay, I had to turn my head. I'm like, Is that a chameleon? Oh, kitty cat. I feel like you have to put the the lemur <laughs> socks on the unicorn. Oh no, Sue. Who <laughs> said she's sitting here, put a lotion on, and realized it's. <laughs> <laughs> You can go jump in the shower real quick. <laughs> oh no! I've done the same thing though. What was it? I did just like that. The giving plate? I realized. So be right back. Gotta wash my hands. <laughs> They're gonna be very clean. Did you try to get it? No. My daughter texted me because we got to get into her car. By the way, my kids got to drive themselves to school today for that's the first fun. time. Well, Ducky drove. She got yeah. her license yesterday. So that's exciting. No more No more of that. What? What is a giving plate? Uh, well, it sounds like a plate that you would give put stuff on to give somebody i guess so i think you make them a thing and like are all these all giving plates okay. yeah yeah so you just so put yeah, this on a plate make them muffins or whatever you want and then you give it to it and i believe i don't know if the plate comes back to you or if the goal is for them to then make something and then pass it yeah, on to yeah i think so because like this one says the giving plate this plate brings love and goodies from home to home so yeah that's a really cool idea though yeah you pass on the love. Pass along. Like, I've had friendship bread before. Have you had that? I was just going to say, like, <laughs> friendship bread. Yeah. It's delicious. And we it's have, so I good. It used to be, like, real popular. I haven't had it in, like, 15 years. <laughs> we need to bring it back, Alex. Oh, that's nice, Mandy. Two blocks. Our, we're, like, a mile from the high school here. 1.2 miles. I only know that because I had to look it up for insurance reasons. <laughs> Luckily, she don't drive. She's 1.2 miles to school, and her work is 1.6 miles from our house. So they don't even count it as going to work because it's such a short distance. Hi, Donna. Halloween. Where in Indiana are you? I'm in Indiana also. Halloween. It's that time of year. Etching cream. And Mindy had a really good idea for the giving plate. Use the etching cream oh. on like a glass dish, and then it will be etched in there. Yeah, I've so still, I always think the etching looks so fancy. I've never know? etched anything, and I don't... Like, someone's explained it to me, and I still don't get it. I'm like, it's cool. I don't understand I it. I think I explained it to you. Yeah, you did, and somebody <laughs> at the Airbnb. They had glasses for etching, and I'm like, oh. It's so easy. And they it showed it to me. They showed me their glass, know. and they're like, you put this on here. And I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> it's well, something seen... I would have to do hands-on. Um, I'm, I'm getting there, Sue. I'm getting there. I was Hi. just, I was going to wait until we were done talking. <laughs> Halloween night pup, pumpkins. <clears throat> I like the skull inside the pumpkin. Hi, Laura and Mary Jane. Welcome. Welcome. Ooh, She's these are fun. Goshen? Goshen? Me all in my fall feels. Do you know where Goshen, Indiana is? I do know. Oh, no. I don't. <laughs> I, I do know. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> I know I've been there because my dad, he used to go to Goshen, Indiana, because there was a bus manufacturer. There was something there that I would go with my dad to Goshen, Indiana. So that's, I've been there as a child with my dad for work, but I don't know exactly where Goshen is. Hello, Nikki and Lady Lake. Nikki's in Lady Lake. That's like not far. I have friends that live in Lady Lake. I agree, Jamie. These are they are getting some really good Halloween images. I like that. These are fun. You know what these would be good for, Alex? That sublimation printer when you hook it up. Yeah, the one that's still in the box in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> <That'd be> awesome. <laughs> these are cool though. Next time I come, I want to make things with it. Oh, speaking about the etching. So, have you seen the Yeti cups that everybody's taking and doing the designs on? And they're using citrus strip, citrus. Citrus strip? Yeah. Citrus strip, and it takes, they put the stencil on, Alex. They put the citrus strip over it, kind of like an etching cream. 
let it sit and then you take it off and it takes the powder coating off of the outside of the Yeti to your design. Like somebody okay. did a big one the other day. So then the Bigfoot, whatever you do, turns out metal. Okay. The rest of it. It's super cool, but I want to get one just to do a video on it. I'm, I'm, like, oh. I'm more of a hands-on person, so I have to, I really need to do it to understand it. Um, right. Yeah, I want to try it though. I just got to buy a Yeti. You can buy, it just has to be powder coated. Whatever okay. you do to strip. This is ballroom dancers, if you're a ballroom dancer. I'm not. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have ballroom dancing clothes, all right? Like, <laughs> well, my kids took ballroom dancing in gym. What? That's some bogus. <laughs> I had to do square dancing. <laughs> I had to do square dancing as well. They had to do square dancing also when they were younger. And then in junior high, they had to do ballroom dancing. That sounds amazing. Doesn't that sound incredibly awkward as in junior high? Well, I'm sure it's super part. awkward, but like it's at true. least you have some idea of what you're doing if you ever have that opportunity. Right. Graphic bioluminescent. Did I just say oh. that correctly? Ocean Bio animals. <laughs> Mindy's great grandparents owned a ballroom. So oh, do you fancy. know all the do you know the dances, Mindy? Did I tell you what my next tattoo is going to be? Wait, you did with a octopus, a kraken? A kraken. On an in octopus. a ship? Uh, yes. And then like a sea scene, like underneath. That's awesome. The, I want to go where the bioluminescence is. You ever see the people that go in the water and then it's just all blue and green yeah. and like reds? That's so cool. I watched a... Uh, Docu. National Geographic with Will Smith, and he goes into the ocean and like under the yep. water. It is like a rave. It is crazy. It's I'm yeah. Like, it's like confetti in the sea. It's so crazy. It's an angler fish. Before I COVID, ball I did ballroom line, line dancing. I've never heard of that, Joanne. She said, "Great if you don't if you have a partner who doesn't dance. That way you can still." Bioluminescence. Brushed art freezes. Debbie took bioluminescence at Arthur Murray Studio. I know somebody, she's on my Facebook, I went to school with her, and they live in Orlando, actually, and they've been going to the Arthur Murray in Orlando, and they put on these shows, and they have these fancy outfits. They just did, like, a steampunk theme. I'm like, wow. I cool. would never get Matt to do that. Like, hey, babe, you want to go ballroom dance? <laughs> I mean, I'm down to try. <laughs> World's okayest painter. <laughs> Not paint water. <laughs> Brush snub. I paint with pixels. That's, that's kind of how I am. Mindy's better at figure skating. That's impressive. I will never step on skates ever again. No? Not after I fractured my ankle. Yeah, that's a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, that. I skate stuck into the ice and my body rolled around my ankle. That was not great. Oh, no. <laughs> I still have the scars from surgery. <laughs> I haven't been on the ice in a really long time because I don't trust my ankle. Like, I'm like, no, it's just going to end bad. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Only put limits on your color palette. My weapon of choice, a paintbrush. My favorite oh, color is all of them. They got me a smoothie, Alex, but it's it's not Wawa smoothie, so it's very disappointing. I'm gonna have to get a Wawa smoothie today. Traditional tattoo you magical wall in. decals. <laughs> I'll take a I'll I'll send you a Snapchat so in like four Thanks. weeks when you watch Let me know what flavor. <laughs> I did get that banana foster one. Oh, right? did you? It's so, it so good. It's so good. These you always are... have these hidden ones. I'm like, where did you find those? <laughs> That's the menu when I look. <laughs> Traditional tattoo magical wall decals. It's a kitty cat. Magical unicorn. What is? Wait, is that a kitty cat with wings? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Magical cat with wings on the moon. <laughs> yeah, roller skating. Surely that's what I'm talking about. Nope, still not doing we it. We used to roller skate when I was like a kid. I don't know. To like seventh grade, the roller skating ring was the place to be. Every weekend, people were like, if you were cool, you were at the roller skating ring. I'm not saying I was cool, 
was at the roller skating ring a lot. I was there and a lot, too. I always wanted too. to be those ones that could go backwards really easily. I couldn't. I mean, I could go around in a circle. <laughs> I, I did I did rollerblade at or roller skate at that place. It's now. I actually never rollerbladed. It's a it's a church now. It's not a it's not a roller rink. I anymore. know. Do you even remember? Then I think that was. No, no. You don't remember that at all? I I do. Do you? Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember the little arcade area, and I got vampire teeth from there. <laughs> the big super ropes. You remember like those. Licorice, they had like the yeah. like, super robes. <laughs> That's cool. I like these though. I like these different the butterfly ones. The yeah. butterfly one's really neat too. Yeah. That'd be good on a shirt. Use that vinyl. Uh, Mindy, that's so funny. She said, Bucky's didn't have any more sun hats, but I bought a shirt that says party like it's 1982. My husband had that shirt in his hand and he was going to buy that shirt. And then, um, we seen another shirt and it's like black and white tie dye. It's got Bucky's and on the back it says, I'm just here for the snacks, which is perfect for my husband. Yeah. So oh, that butterfly one's cool. I have to get a new Bucky's hat. Um, when I went camping, it got broken. Did it? Yeah. Well, we were at Bucky's at like four in the morning on the way home. So they have breakfast sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Breakfast burritos. It was good. Yeah. I was like, wow. That's a cool unicorn. That is a really cool unicorn. Magical that moon's village. neat too, with the yeah. different colored stars. I like that. That's really neat. I do too. What is that one? Shooting what star. What is that one right above where you are? This oh, one. Oh, yeah. It's a view of a town. Oh, okay. I like this butterfly one a lot. Okay. No, what's oh, butterflies in color too? That's beautiful. Cute apocalypse characters. Those usually don't go together. Oh, no, not cute usually. Apocalypse. So it's a chainsaw. A cute little chainsaw. <laughs> a gas mask. A claw. Wow, look at this cat or dog. I mean, <laughs> a dog with a gas mask. What is this thing? Is this a chicken? a survivor oh that's a guy <laughs> i was looking at the top it looks like a chicken head <laughs> <laughs> okay what oh, look at a little rat nuclear little tail on fire. nuclear waste <laughs> mutated mouse a zombie these are cute <laughs> they are i mean they have their own like the, you know a zombie's <laughs> carrying his head you could do a shirt or something too with like different of those images, like yeah. smaller everywhere. Like that's really popular in these colors. Like, do it with um, what? Like make a shirt that? and it, like it have one like each it. one be its own month or something, and it's like my zombie character for this month. Yeah, look at the kitty with the cat, the gas mask. <laughs> that's a dog. Oh. I did I said yeah. the same thing. I'm like, that looks like a cat. <laughs> yeah, it could be either. I like the gas mask by Maybe itself. What would you do with these? Uh like kids like ten to like I'll say nine to thirteen. Or um, twenty to thirty. Yeah, twenty to thirty. <laughs> uh you could actually make this into a mask to just cut out the eyes. True. You could. Or just that, like, rat with his tail on fire eating a piece of cheese. I feel yeah. like Ducky might like that shirt. <laughs> See, Jamie's, it looks like a it's, cat to me, too. It's, it has a gas mask. It's not eating cheese. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's... But he's not eating cheese. Yeah, that's a gas mask. I, look at it. I just seen yellow as it was going on. Like he's eating cheese. Um... Turn of the century, more kitchen illustrations. Turn of the century, so there's a chance that we're going to be like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a dessert layered thing. <laughs> a dessert, yeah, what do you call it? Tear, that? it's tears. Finger. It's a dessert stand, gotcha. Three tier yeah. dessert stand. 
My grandma had one of these. The cake the displayer cake. thing. Yeah. Teacups. Mad Hatterly, like, they're stacked, like... Yeah. You could use that for Alice in Wonderland something. The uh, candelabra. That's a, that's Candelabras like... are just, like, a fancy, like, addition, like... Yeah. I like that one in black. Yeah. I cut that thing. I don't know what I would use any of those for. You could, for a chic, I like the yeah. candelabra you'd use for like a chic card. You could do the bath, you know, I got my candelabra at the end of my bathtub because I just feel fancy that way. <laughs> <laughs> Medley uh, Costello says, reminds me of characters from Beauty and the Beast. Yes. It does. I was yeah, thinking the I same thinking, thing, yeah. actually. When I start with the candelabra, I was thinking it could be Lumiere. Um, monoline like frames. Is he the gla broken glass? <laughs> oh, those are nice borders to put around something. Is is that the wait? Is that the candle guy? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Lumiere. I'm glad you do that. At first, I said the teacup thing, and I'm like, that's not it. Immediately, it was wrong. No, that's <laughs> Chip is the little one, and then Mrs. Potts is the the. Grandma, one. mom, right? I mean, I think it's his mom, but I feel the, like it's his grandma, really. <laughs> at Disney Springs, they have a really cool teacup, like a chip in it. It's like I really it well in the done. Disney store. Yeah, I literally picked it up because I was yeah. like, "Oh, that's so cool!" And then I'm like, "I gotta get this home, and it looks yeah. like it's gonna break easily." Right. I literally had it in my hand. I was like, "I love this." <laughs> we have ten minutes remaining. Yeah, borders are good. I'm all There's like, 97 images in this one. That's good. So if you need a border, old old-fashioned border. Mrs. Potts is Chip's mother. Yeah. I always felt like she was the grandma just because I think I knew who played her and I was like she's too old to be his mother. <laughs> Turn of the century household objects. A lot of turn of the century. That is a lot of frames in one set, Jamie. Ooh, the fancy old perfume bottle. My grandma had that on her. I only know that because my grandma had that on her like dresser. My grandma Gibbs. A, a scale, old scale. Ah, Mindy True. Those frames are great for scrapbook pages. We had these, and when I lived at in Bradley with my grandparents and my dad, we had oil lamps when the electricity went out. You know how terrifying that is? Like, that's a fire hazard to the max. It is. Like, okay, get the, the... So we literally had this little... Oh, my gosh. It was terrifying carrying that around <laughs> as a kid. I always think of Cracker Barrel when I see those, because they got those on the tables at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, but we went straight back to the 1800s with... In our house. <laughs> we could see everywhere. We had like eight of them. <laughs> the good old wash tub. Ooh, I like these. Storage Is that just shows. a trunk? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wash tub. Thank goodness we've advanced since the wash tub. Like, the the oil lamps. I'm like, haven't you guys heard of flashlights? Like, why do we have these oil lamps? <laughs> hey, Jamie says she still has oil lamps for when the power goes out. Oh. Which is open out there. It was just, it was stressful as a kid. So I was just Mindy's like, this got that is... iron too. The iron that they showed, she has that iron. Really? Yes. Okay, so. Antique stores. We are all caught up. We did these last week. Did the we? birds and the turn of the century. Yeah. All right. That was like perfect amount of timing. It was. So tomorrow is Saturday. Do you by chance have anything for tomorrow? No. No? Okay, I don't either. No. Nope. I have not created anything. I'm going to pump out more of these birthday party projects because we only have okay. um, till the 15th okay. to send those out. So okay. I'm planning on, I'm going to go to the store and pick up some things here so I can personalize those and get those out. Because I was like, oh, we're running out of time. Okay. That's going to happen. I'll make a couple more shirts and then water bottles and then a couple cards. So I may go into the Zoom, though, because I'll be crafting, and then I can talk to people while, um, yeah. 
for sure. Well, Clemson's is more up. And then we have next Friday, image sets again, and then I will make something for Saturday, next Saturday. I have no idea what it is yet. I don't know. I'm going to go through my list of ideas that's in my phone and uh, mm -hmm. kind of kind of think of something um, so we can get you guys some, some new stuff. And it's been a while yeah. since I've come up with something. Yeah, so she's off to mail her box to the birthday party project. That is awesome. Nice. I did let Ashish know, too. Because the, I, what are they at, Alex? If you go to Design Space, go to like the home and see how many projects does it It's say like 9,700, I want to say. Okay. Um, it's not showing. Like I see the. The, the thing. scroll, if you hit the over. There it goes. Okay. There you go. I used to tell you right there, didn't it? Okay, so they're definitely short though. But I did the yeah. Ashish Neal that the project numbers are way off. I said people have been cutting them without the special images. Not only that, but you're cutting like multiple projects on one sheet. Like we did those water bottles. We cut six projects in one sheet, but that's only really gonna count as one project, even though it was six. So I did let them know like maybe if there's a way, I think they should have something that they could submit. Right. Their entry and say, this is how many, they'd have a more accurate count. So I know there's way more than the 9,700 or whatever we were seeing. Yeah, I think so too. But it's not counting for. But like I said, even if the numbers are off, we know we're making them and it's getting sent to kids. So making their birthdays brighter. Um, surely they're counting them. The only way they're counting the projects is by using the images for the party project. So when you're on Alex right here, if you click on the dinosaur, it says make it forward. Yeah. So if you go to this, Shirley and everybody. Oh, there it is. 9671. There, there's the number. And then you go down. Any of these images that are in here work. Um, and then it counts as one project. But say you're cutting stickers. You might be cutting 50 stickers. All in one project. Stickers. Yeah, but it's only going to count as one project. Yeah. So. But that's the only way it counts. And there's lots of people making projects with other images that just aren't in here. So. And, you know, of course, when you're making these stickers, they don't have to be just black. So you can change the color, you know, like. Yeah, and you don't have to use that as a sticker either. You can take one of those images and put it on a card or right. put it on a shirt, and then it's going to count too. Duplicate. So I want to get rid of this. I want to to her. I'm going to get it. Oh, no, not that. They are due, Deborah. It is August 15th is the deadline for the birthday party projects. And then when you're on Design Space, if you just click on the Make It Forward, it'll give you, it'll take you to the blog and it'll give you the information with the um, shipping address and everything. Hey, Shirley, that's okay. It didn't count as two projects, but it'll go to two kids, so they're still going to get them. I just think there's a better way for them to track how many projects are really being made because I see lots of people making lots of projects. That's going to be my thing. My hubby's working midnights the next two days, so I'm going to be in my craft cove making stuff for kids. Your craft cove. I need to make a sign that says that. Yeah. Perfect name for it. Okay. So this. What are we doing? I'm just I'm trying to. We don't have long left, guys, so when this cuts out, but if you have it, oh, we probably need to put it in there. Did you put the, in the description, the thing for the giveaway? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. I'll have to add that. And then also the mystery box is still crazily available. We can't believe it's available. Yeah. Because they have the, the new brand cutie. new cutie. I know. There. I took two and made one. <laughs> and that's there you a, go. It's a sticker now. That's Perfect, that. Annie. Tammy has a craft cave. I have a craft... Upgrade it from the cove. Well, it's in the fam cave. I have a craft cove within the fam cave. <laughs> yeah. The dungeon. All right. So we will for sure see you guys next Friday. Um... 
Yes. We'll see. I don't. Th I, don't I can't think of anything else before then. But. Oh, I'm trying to think too. I think that's it. We'll get off here shortly and go to the fair and get some fair food. I'm going to the beach as soon as we end this. I know. Um, I wish I was going there. I had a little bit of sun for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> Be there all the time. I gotta get. All the beach towels are over at the other, at the Airbnb, so I have to get some beach towels for here. So. Right. All right. Yeah. All um, right, guys. Can you go ahead and say goodbye. You guys have a good weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. Hopefully it's not too hot where you are.